uh, basically I uh, should have probably not uh, or maybe I should have I probably should have uh, instead of deleting my I was gonna say I should probably change my withdrawal from the Middle East video uh, I should probably change that title of that uh, essay from withdrawal from the Middle East to uh, civilian casualty solutions uh, for the following reasons because uh, I think we need to eventually uh, provide uh, food to these countries uh, and stuff like that resources to these countries and ha have them be able to use Amazon and stuff like that and uh, have tunnels so they could uh, get shipped all their resources um, uh, and basically uh, and I think there should be like automated like in terms of mines I think there should be machines and then civilians can co control those machines we could donate those machines to them if we uh, m make like a factory that uh, makes these machines these bomb machines that go around blowing up mines and um, so um, there's not any casualties involved uh, and basically those are the reasons why I think uh, I should change it why I thought I should change it from withdrawal from the Middle East to uh, uh, civilian casualties uh, I'm just gonna do a follow-up video I don't want to repeat the same things from the first one basically uh, yeah that was a reason for my title change and I think that the real thing that we can actually do uh, like today is um, make two pie charts one of them both two civilian casualty pie charts you guys have statistics i'm sure uh my dad when he was a defense attache he was just reading through all the reports and he just got fed up with all this uh all this bullshit. and I'm, i assume he had uh some information regarding these two pie charts i'm about to explain i think you should gather information on uh i think you should gather information on uh civilian casualties first tour second tour and then you get a pie chart and you see that 75 percent of uh, civilian casualties are from uh dudes in their first tour and you could do something about that like i said in my first video you can make it so in the first eight years uh you're strictly training so all the troops that go overseas are elite and they sacrifice themselves uh yeah and uh basically that and uh make it so you can't fight in the middle east until your second eight year tour because you're matured and you're uh not going to go uh kill someone's relative for uh protesting uh when uh if some if you had a bunch of middle eastern military people driving around uh, your house you'd ram your fucking car into their convoy uh and tell them to get the fuck out of here and um uh the second pie chart you need to make is by situation civilian casualty by situation you'll see the 25 percent is uh from uh dudes ramming their cars into convoys and they're just shooting the driver and it's never uh actual bomb it's just a driver like protesting that you killed his relative or something and you can eliminate that 75 percent of first tour civilian casualties and you can eliminate that 25% of car convoys, because there's a guy in Arizona that made, if you search the Arizona, Arizona man invents, uh, and then uh, something that you throw at the wheels of a car and it uh, stops the car. If you have like a sh shoot those at all sides of the convoy, then you can eliminate that 25% uh, of people that end up dying when you could just stop their car with this thing that this Arizona man invented in terms of stopping cars. And uh, you could shoot it at his wheels and it'll stop his car before he gets to the convoy. You don't have to shoot him or kill him. And you can eliminate that 25%. You can eliminate the 75%. Um, and yeah, if you watch that Blackwater bullshit, uh, then uh, and watch those interviews from all the veterans, you'll agree with me. And yeah, two pie charts. And also two important things uh, besides what I said in my withdrawal from the Middle East video. Um, like you're uh, patrolling where these guys used to play cricket. So imagine if uh, you were in that situation. If these guys are patrolling where you were like on your sledding hill or something and then you'd flip out. And uh, you uh, they don't have warrants. That's the big thing. I don't even have to explain the self-explanatory things involved with these guys busting down doors when they don't have warrants. Uh, you can do that thinking for yourself.